Okay, so we're almost done with our project here, uh, building our sculpture. So um, I like I like the, the shadows it's giving me here and everything, but you can see that they're a little pixelated. So what I need to do is uh, make sure that we're using in our lights. Let's go over to our lights here. And I'm just going to go to the attribute editor um, and then go to shadows. And then I'm going to up the resolution a little bit. Now this is going to um, increase the size of this file, but also give you some smoother um, shadows here. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm actually working in depth map shadow attribute. And so again, anywhere that that's being used, I want to bump up the resolution a little bit. So I'm going to double this to at least a thousand. And you'll start seeing that your pixelation here is going to go away. So wherever that light is pointing to and you're showing that. So again, going down to shadows. So I select the next light and I'm just going to bump that up to a thousand. And now you can see that they're a little bit smoother. Going to shadows here, bumping that up to a thousand. Okay, they're a little bit smoother. So I'll go ahead and file save that. And we haven't really talked about saving, so we need to save this scene. It's about time I do it. And you can see that I have uh, my folder assigned here as a new project. So you could do a new project or you can continue using the same uh, file folder for your default Maya projects. But you want to make sure that you title it correctly. Um, so again, um, you could do two underscore your last name first initial. Don't don't use my name, just use your name for it. Um, or you could just name it abstract if you'd like for now as you continue working on it. So for me, it's going to be my abstract final. So I'll go ahead and put that there. So that's saved and we're ready to um, render this out. My pixelated uh, lights over here aren't as bad anymore. So um, in my default light lighting, Let's see, I've got my lights on. It's okay, leave that. Only use the ones, only uh, work on the resolution for the ones that you've put in. Okay. All right, let's get ready to render this out. Now there's two ways to uh, reach your render tools again. So if I go over to rendering, um, you know, select that from my pull down menu, I can go over to render, render settings, That'll open up the dialog box, or you can simply click on the second, or actually this little uh, icon here uh, that displays the render settings. So both ways will work. I'm going to go here to render settings. And for this, we want to use Maya software again. And I'll go ahead and leave it as PNG is OK. We do want to work, or PNG, I'll accept PNG or JPEG. Really, either one of those two is fine. I'm going to do PNG this time. And um, JPEG is more ideal for any uh, portfolio pieces, so keep that in mind. Here, I'm going to change this to full 1024. And then uh, I can bump this resolution up to at least 150. Now, under Maya, uh, software, I want to make sure that this is in production quality. And then we go over to ray tracing, make sure that that's on. And that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then to render a still, you want to render the current frame. OK, so right here this one and I believe you can reach that here as well render current frame right here and if you click there it's telling me there's nothing there so this is the one we typically use here so 
I'm going to go ahead and click on render current frame. It's going to take a little bit longer to render, uh, but you can see I've got some nice reflections here. And that looks pretty pretty good as a as a whole as far as a sculpture goes. Uh, so you just need to turn in one still frame for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to File, Save Image. And then again, this will save into your Images folder uh, in your project. Um, you could place it somewhere else, but I would definitely leave it in your Images folder. And then uh, name that. So two underscore last name, first initial your last name, first initial, and you can even put, this is my sculpt or whatever, uh, assemblage, and then save that. Okay, so we're done.